Okay. <clears throat> you can probably hear my voice now. All right, down here I have my JPEG. Uh, that's my art. I'm going to paste into it in a minute. There's my previous stuff and my layers and my materials. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to open up a new document. Eight and a half inches by eleven, three hundred dots per inch. All right. Now I'm going to set up my guides. Make sure you go under view. You got your guides turned on, you got your rulers turned on, and maybe snap to guides. And uh, what you do is you zoom in, and you start, you click on the ruler, you drag it over to about a quarter inch, or whatever you feel like setting up your guides. And then you'll see blue lines. You might not see them too good right here. And there, I'm going to set up my little guides there. And I got my guide, so it's going to be easier to stick my panel on there. All right, so now I'm going to make a new layer. It's going to be a. Hold on, I got to do a new vector layer. And so this layer is where I'm actually going to do my panel. And so I'm going to make sure that it's a rectangle. I'm on my vector uh, shape tool, so now I'm going to drag and check out the thickness. That's not thick enough, so I'm going to go a little bit thicker. No, nope, it's still not thick enough. Let's try 18. Uh, 18. It's alright. 24. Looks a little too big. 22. Just about right. Alright, so 22. So now I'm going to drag this and my guides. And then voila. There's my panel. So now I'm going to convert it to a Rasta layer. And that way I can fill in with my white background. And see if it's still on there. Yep, okay. So now you can see through the image. And so now I can have my next layer, which is this thing. So now I get to go to Edit Copy. And now I'm going to Edit Paste into a new layer. And now it's down here. So I'm going to drag. Since it's over, I need it to go under, so I'm going to drag the layer down. Now I'm going to go click on the transform tool. I think that's what this is. And I'm going to scale it a little bit bigger, which is going to make it more pixelated, but I'll fix that in a minute. All right, so let's try 130 by 130. It's getting there. All right, let's try 160 by 160. Still got some space there. Okay, so let's try 180 by 180. I'm getting pretty close. Still, you got that gap there. So let's try a good old 200. Uh, it might be too big. So let's go down to 190. See, boring stuff, but stuff nonetheless. Alright, let's see how far we can go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, I see I got some background there, so I gotta bend it back a little bit. And if you want to adjust it without like a little bit of detail, because sometimes you drag in forever, and then so the there's like pivot or hold on position is what you would change these things right here and that and changing those numbers would move it uh, left or right or up and down whatever you want anyway so now let's look at this so you got some pixelated stuff going on there so let's go to effects I think it's effects nope adjust add remove noise and then you go to median filter <coughs> And now I have to wait for it to load. Because I have a bunch of stuff going on right now. Uh, there we go. Medium filter. So let's look at it's at 7 right now. So it kind of takes the pixelated stuff away over here. Let's try 8, 9. See what that looks like. Alright, let's zoom out a little bit. See if it doesn't look too distorted. No, it doesn't look too distorted. I think I'll keep it with 9. Alright, so now I'll wait for it to change. Hopefully it'll look better. There we go. It's, it's better. So now with the background layer on, 
should be a white layer. There we go. See, that takes care of the checkers because that's just showing me through the thing. All right, so now we're going to work on the lettering balloons. <clears throat> you could use any font you want. If you don't have any good font uh, that you would like more of a comic book font, you can go to uh, blambot.com, www.blambot, and Mr. Nate Picos, I think is his name. He has plenty of free ones available. So let's type something on it. I need to eat. So you can't see it, so I mean something's messed up with the lettering. Mm, come on, where are you? Uh, oh, it's because I don't have black selected. Alright, so if you reverse it, all right, <coughs> then you can see it right over here. Alright, so let's start doing something. All right. This would be a good time to brush my teeth. And you see how I did this is I want to keep it in some sort of a square shape. I don't want to go too, too long because when you do the ellipse tool it looks way weird. So, in fact, I might want to make this a little more square, so let's just mess around right now. Let's see here. Center that. Uh, what's my word? Mm. PaintShop Pro has this stuff that it's not really there but it's there right now uh, that looks okay all right that'll work but maybe I want it a little bigger <coughs> so then I would go to size or whatever and click on let's see what 36 36 is a little bit better and 36 is a little bit better all right going with 36 now I'm going to click back on this uh, tool again. Now I'm going to click on ellipse. And now let's draw some ellipses and see. Oh, got to reverse these things again. And now let's see here. Oh, that's a little too thick for my balloon. So let's try 14. Still a little too thick for my taste. So let's try 7. Seven's a little too thin. Let's see if 9's good. 9 looks pretty good, so let's try 9. Alright, now you want to make sure you got pretty even white space around everything, so let's fix that. Looks a little too much white space over here, so let's try to squeeze it a little bit. The biggest mistake I see in lettering is they, they have the balloon like practically touching the letter over here. <coughs> Not too bad, it can probably come down a little bit. See, the more you squish it down like that, the more it's going to not look too good. That's that's decent. Oh, let's look at that. That looks pretty good. So let's go back to the vector. I'm going to click on the line tool. And now let's zoom in. All right, now let's zoom in. I'm going to click over. Let's see here, the line tool. And so now I'm going to hold down, okay, uh, shift, subtract, so if I want to take that one out, whatever. Anyway, I want to add, so I hit control, and you'll put the cursor up to there, and you, I'm going to click three little ones real quick. And then I'm going to select the middle one, I'm going to drag it out. And then I'm going to zoom out, see if that looks somewhat decent. That looks too close to the mouth. Alright, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to click a little bit, two more there. So now I'm going to drag them down. That way I get a little bit of a curve to the tail. And that's pretty much how you can set up a panel with Photoshop. And then I would uh, <coughs> save it as a whatever. And it would automatically ask you, do you really want to save that? Because it's going to merge everything down and then you would.